A local food hall is helping victims of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The owners of Milwaukee's Crossroad Collective Food Hall donating relief efforts, and you can help out too. Tom Durian shows you how. Both families um, have their roots in what was at the time the Soviet Union, but we lived in the portion that is Ukraine. Just over 30 years ago, Tim Gokman and Ann Shuck's families immigrated from the eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk to the United States. Their fathers were best friends from a young age and started New Land Enterprises, a Milwaukee company which is responsible for prominent developments across the city. It's really hard to see, uh, you know, the buildings and everything that you're seeing on TV, and I'm getting kind of these fleeting memories coming back to me. Both Tim and Ann were born in what is now Ukraine and came to the U.S. as children. And it's when they see the effects this war is having on children that their heart breaks. And think about that as we put our own kids now to bed here. They feel lucky their families left the country when they did and brought them here to the U.S. Now they are hoping to help families still in Ukraine by raising money at their company's Crossroads Collective Food Hall. This week, all proceeds raised from the purchase of this drink called the Hope Floats at the pharmacy bar and from the Boris's pickle plate at Ruta's vibrant Indian cafe will be donated to World Central Kitchen, an organization that provides meals to people in and around areas of conflict or disaster, started by famed chef Jose Andres. This was a really, really credible way for us to make an effort to do donation, and we know how that money is being used. As images of the war-torn country continue to be shown, they know that this is just the beginning. Think of the amount of displacement, the injuries, the deaths, the families impacted. That damage will be felt for decades, for generations. Newland has also donated $10,000 to the cause and says they will match any employee donations as well. Reporting in Milwaukee, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News.